All right, in this video, we're going to talk about 2D histogram in OpenCV using Python. So we'll start off by saying what it is, why we need it, how does it work, and jump straight into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we will understand what this image here means on the bottom and how we could convert this image here on the left to this image here on the right. Okay, so what is 2D histogram? 2D histogram is a graph that shows the distribution of data for two variables. So in this case, on the right, we have hue and saturation, and it shows us the distribution. So we'll go into details of this graph later. But the brightness of the graph here is it shows you the higher distribution. So you can see this color here is brighter, so there's more distribution in that area. Okay, so why do we need 2D histogram? It's good for data visualization, so we could see patterns or trends in our data. It's good for feature extraction, so maybe there's parts of the image we want to extract. Maybe it's for segmentation or just for certain parts. Like this example that we have here, we could extract parts of the image, and we'll go into details of this later, but you can see the white is the part that we're extracting, so the sky. And it's good for Maybe you want to compare images, you could compare images based on the histogram of the images. So that might be good for those applications. So how does a 2D histogram work? So the way it works is just like with 1D, now we're doing 2D. So we're counting the number of occurrence for the combinations of X and Y values that appear. So in this case, because this is our bright region, so it means that you know if we were to count pixels, with this combination of say like 100 hue and like 170 something saturation or technically between uh, these range, that means that a lot of the pixels have these values of hue and saturation. So based on the number, we can map it to a color intensity, which is the color that we see here. If we were to visualize this in 3D, then you know we might see like a peak in that area here. And that would correspond to the same thing. But this is a 2D map. And because we can't see the Z height, we use the color intensity to show you the height or the number of times we see that occurrence. So let's jump straight into a coding example. Okay, so as usual, we're gonna go ahead and import the modules that we need. So import CV2 as CV. We have import import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then import os and import numpy as np. Okay, and we're going to make our function. We're going to call this histogram 2d. And then we have a main function of name is main. And we're going to call our histogram 2d here. Okay, so inside our histogram 2d, we're going to go ahead and read in our image os.get uh, cwd and then image path equals os.path.join and then pass in root demo images and then we have a tesla pick here jpeg and we're going to go ahead and read the image so cv.unread and we're going to pass in the path okay and we want to convert it since we're using um, the numpy to plot we need to convert the channel so image rgb equals cv.cvt color, and then pass in our image and image.cv.color, or actually, yeah, cv.color, and then it's bgr to rgb, okay? So now we have converted. Um, we want to take a look at the HSV scale. So we're gonna do HSV equals cv cv cvt color, we're going to convert it once more. Here we have CV color, um, BGR to HSV. And we're going to get our histogram here. So histogram equals CV. This is um, how we could get the 2D histogram. So we have CV dot uh, calc hist. And then we're going to pass in, pass in the HSV for our image. And then our channels, we're going to look at the first two channels, which is hue and saturation. And for the mask, we don't have anything. And for the range, we want to pass in 
Um, this is like the max value, essentially, or the biggest size. We have 180 and 256. And then the range of values we want is between 0 and 180, and then 0 to 256. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and plot our figure. We're going to make a subplot. Um, here we go. And we're going to plot um, I'm show, see our original image. And then we're going to do another subplot. Or let's first take a look at our original image. So if I run this, OK, we see our original image here. And now we want to do some processing or see our results for our histogram. So we have plt.subplot, and we have 132, and then plt.amshow. We're going to pass in our histogram. And let's label our axis. So our y, our y label is going to be the hue. And then our x label is going to be our saturation. OK, so if I go ahead and plot this, we should see our new plot showing us our histogram. OK, so you can see here is our histogram. And we could zoom in here to see the details. This means that we have very bright pixels between saturations of 150 to like 200 something and hue values at around uh, between 105 and 110. Okay, And we can see what that corresponds to if we take a look at our mask. So we could go ahead and add that in there. So we could have a lower bound. So I talked about this in my HSV videos earlier. Uh, but you can see NumPy array and we could pass in some range of values here. So uh, we were looking at hues between like 106 and then 128. And then here we have an upper bound. It's going to be MP array. And we're going to pass in values 112 to 200. That's roughly the range we were looking at. And then 255. So for HSV, the V, we will let it take up the whole range. And then for this part, uh, we won't really care. OK, so if I go ahead and do a new subplot, I'm going to have my third subplot. And inside my third subplot, I'm going to plot it. So we're essentially doing segmentation. And we're going to see what the mask is going to produce for us to see you know, which HSV values we're actually getting. OK, so let me go ahead and make my mask here, cv.inrange. And we're going to pass in HSV, and then we have our lower bound. And then we're going to pass in our upper bound. So now we could plot our mask and see what our mask shows. So that will mean that what this does is saying any values of HSV between these ranges for the H, this for the V, or this for the S, and this for the V, we should see our new mask that is within that range. So if I go ahead and run this, we see that this image here on the right is the result of segmenting values of HSV between this region here. Okay, So you can see that white is, means the part that we're segmenting out. So you can see some parts of the car here has a similar um, hue and saturation. So that's why this part is also white as well, because it's similar to the color of the sky based because of the reflection here. That's why it's um, getting passed through this filter. OK? So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.